Now we are going to start talking about containers for layout management. We are going to create a blank app and start learning how to use it. Okay, so I'm going to go to my solution to create an app from inside the solution. But if you don't have one, then you can go to Power Apps, create and create a blank app. But in my case, I'm going to go to Solutions, Power Apps, Building Blocks, and I'm going to create a new app, Canvas app, tablet format, and I will call it Learning Containers. Click on Create and wait for the app to open. Once it's opened, we are going to start looking at it. Okay, we already know the interface, and we know that if we go to Insert, we have a lot of controls in here. And we can also enable the modern controls in the settings. But let's continue with the controls that we are given here, because in this case, it's just for understanding how containers work. If we expand the layout session, we see several options here. And we have the horizontal container, vertical container, and just container. In simple terms, containers is a control that groups other controls together. It helps us to manage the layout and the alignment of multiple controls at once. We can think of a container as a box that we can put things inside, or a drawer. We can put our things on inside it, organize the layout we want. It means the way we want them to be organized. So the container would be like this, the box to put things inside. As we saw, there are mainly these three types of containers. Let's insert one by one in the app. So I'm going to go to insert container. Okay. Now I'm going to click out of it and insert again a vertical container. Just position it the side of that one, resize and position. Let's also insert a horizontal container and position it on its side. So we have the three containers here right now. It's a little difficult to see because they are all white. So I'm going to set the screen color. I, I'm going to click on the screen, select the fill and put gray. For the containers, I'm going to select them, pressing shift here in the three view and set the color to white. Okay, now we have the three containers. In the beginning, they look all the same. Okay, we can start adding controls to the containers. For example, let's click in the first container. This one is just the container. We can see also in the icon from the tree view, that's a regular container. For the containers, we have also this plus icon here in the middle that we can select controls. Let's select a text label. And as you can see, the text was added inside the container and I can see here in the tree view. Again, I can click in the container. Now I don't see the insert icon, so I can go to insert, select a label again and add a third label. Okay, we can see that three labels were added inside the containers. Let's also change the label properties so we can see it better inside the container. And then we can use the same three labels to copy and paste inside the other containers later. But let's select the three labels. Let's give to them a background color. So I'm going to choose orange. I'm just going to format some options here in the pane. We have the center option to center the text. We have the font size, let's say 32. If you added a modern control, then this property may be here in the bottom and be a little bit different, but the same idea, it will be here in the properties pane. Okay, now for width and high, let's set all the same. Let's put 200 for width and for high. So they all have the same size. Okay. We can change the text of each one just to differentiate. So let's say one for the first one two for the second and three for the third. Now we can see that if we select the container, we can move it around. Let's just bring the container to the top, right click on it, reorder, bring it to front because now it's in front of the others. It's easier to identify. So everything moves together. 
if I resize the container, the things that are not in the display area in this of the container will be hidden, but it's here inside it. Okay, this is the normal container, it's just a group of things. If I don't want to show the background and the drop shadow that it puts around it, I can select the container and remove the drop shadow and also remove the background. So now the controls are all here inside the container. It looks like they are just in the app, but I can easily move them around because I have this container. And I can position them inside the container as I want. Now, if we go to the vertical container, as the name says, it stacks its child controls vertically, one of the top of the other. So let's copy these labels. I'm going to press Ctrl and select all of them here in the Canva, then Ctrl C, and then inside the container with the container selected, I will press Ctrl V. Now look what happens. The items are placed one after the other vertically, and I cannot drag them inside here because this container fixes the position. But of course, I can play with the properties of the container so I can give some spacing between the items or make them stretch to the container size. We are going to see later. We are going to see this in the next class. The idea now is to understand the difference between the containers. And again, I can select the container and move the container around. I can resize the container and then it will be hidden here, the one that doesn't fit in the container area. But as I mentioned, we have properties to do that. Let's see the third container. If I paste here inside this container, the labels are placed horizontally. Again, we have the label number three here, but it's outside the area of the container. But if I resize the container, I'm going to see it better. And we can see that the items are side by side and again, I cannot drag and position them because it's fixed. Let's just give the color to this container back, the background color, so we see its limits. We can resize a little and position the labels as we want. Okay, and now we have the three containers in here. Just for a better visual, we can change the colors of the labels. So let's put for the number two a different color. Let's say blue. Okay, again for this one in the other container. Now I cannot select because they are not in the same area. They are separated inside the container, so I cannot select all at once. I need to go one by one. So for label number two, so I'm going to put blue. Okay. And for the number three, let's add an another color. I'll select green. Now it's easy to identify everything. Here, I just use labels, but it could be any control. You could mix with buttons, images, rectangles, date pickers, whatever. Everything that's here and can be added, can be added inside the container. You can even add another container inside the container. So it's called nested containers, one container inside the other. Inside the container that's vertical, you can add a horizontal container and so on. Okay, in the next class, let's start exploring a little bit more the properties of the containers, especially for these ones, the vertical and the horizontal one. Since now we want to be able to better organize the controls inside it, because we, as we saw, we cannot drag, so we need to find other way to do that. And we are going to see how easy it is to organize items inside a container. See you there.